All right, if I, I can convert a mixed number to an improper fraction because there's just two ways of saying the same thing. A mixed number is when you have a whole number, a whole amount, a whole, like four of something, but you've also got a little left over, one third of another piece. You don't actually make it all the way to five holes. Um, if this were drawn as a picture, we have one, two, three. This is one hole. I need to have four holes first. One, two, that's two holes. This is three holes, and this is four holes. Now my last one, I don't fill it up all the way. I only have one third that's filled in. So if I were to actually turn this in an improper fraction, which is basically just counting your pieces, how many thirds do I have? Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I only count this last one that's filled in. I have 13 thirds. But again, you won't always be able to draw this and count them, especially if this was four and one twentieths. You would have to, you would, you, you don't know if you, your pieces would be right and you'd have to count 20, it would just take a long time. So one way that we think of, well, we think of, I have four holes and each of them has three in it. So I'm gonna say four times three, three plus three plus three plus three, four times three. I'm gonna put that in parentheses. And then I'm gonna add whatever I had left over in this last piece, whatever my numerator is, and then I add one. And then all of that is gonna keep, I'm gonna keep that same denominator because each, each of these was broken up into thirds. So the way this ends up becoming is four times three, denominator times whole number, which is 12, plus my numerator, that one that's left over, plus one, all over three. So 12 plus one equals 13, thirds and this is the improper fraction of this mixed number right here multiply denominator by whole number add that numerator that's left over and keep it all over the same denominator